I'm going on with example 9. Find the coordinates of the points on the parabola, y equals to x squared, closest to the point 0, 1. Now, everybody knows y equals to x squared. Looks like that, right? Everybody clear? Now, where's the point 0, 1? 0, 1 is somewhere here, right? Correct. Now, the point closest to it will be actually two points. I don't know where is it. I just have found one. One on the left side and one on the right side. Do you all agree? Do you all agree? Okay. Now, because this point lies on the curve, if I have the x coordinate as x, the y coordinate will be x squared. Do you all agree? Yes. Because it lies on this one, huh? so if this is x, this is just x squared, right? Agree, class? Yes or no? Can or cannot? Okay. That means this point will also be x, x squared. Right? Agree? Yes or no? Okay. Now, what am I trying to say? This is the point zero one. And I have the points x, x squared. I must find the distance, right? Between 0, 1 and x, x squared. Do you agree with what I'm talking about? I must find this distance d, right? Correct. Right? And this d must be the smallest. Because they say it's the closest. Everybody clear? Okay, let's take a look at d. If I apply the distance formula, it's x minus 0, right? Squared, so I'm um, the x squared, correct? Plus one. X squared minus one, right? Correct. X squared minus one, and then I square it. Okay. Now, by right, uh, plus, don't copy this one. I have to, okay, dd is very funny, right? I call it dd, dd, very funny. So maybe I let the distance be. S, will that be okay? Can you see? I cannot DD, ma. No? So let's say this is S. I will have the S, the X, right? I got to differentiate. A B class. And then equate it to zero. Correct? Now plus, look up first. The textbook has a very ingenious way of doing it. Okay? Now, do you agree that if I differentiate this, it's going to get complicated? You agree with what I'm saying? Do you agree if I differentiate it, it's going to get complicated? Everybody clear? Because there's a power half and there's inside. Agree? Now, I want to ask you something. If this is a number, and if this number is small, right? Square root of it, right? If I square it, it will also be a smaller value, right? You get what I'm talking about? Okay. Maybe this is not a good enough solution. How about look up? Let's say a square root a square root b. Okay. Let's say this is distance 1, this is distance 2. Supposing a is 0 0.3 and b is maybe 0 0.5. And then I take square root of that. Okay, see? Can you see if I square this, it will be 0 0.3. If I square this, it will be 0 0.5. The square will also mean that this is small, this is big. Correct. That means inside small, you square root. I square it, you'll be also smaller, right? Inside big square root, I square it, you will still be big, right? Correct. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, repeat. Uh. Let's say I have 0 0.01. I square it, you'll be 0 0.01, right? Let's say if I have 2. I square it, you'll be what? 2. Can you see small and big? Same thing. It doesn't matter. Correct. Uh. Because inside must be a positive number mark, it's a distance mark, okay? Now, so, what the textbook did is this. They want to get rid of the square root side. You all agree that if S is the smallest, S square will also be the smallest, right? Just now I proved to you already. Correct. So, what is S square? It will just be this, right? The green class? Okay, so I will have Okay So what do I have? X4 
minus x squared plus 1. Am I right? Correct? Yes or no? Then I'm going to find. I let the x s I let s square. Okay, give me a number. What do you want? Give me a letter. Sorry, what do you want? You let s square be something, so that it's a single letter. Can I let let it be? What do you want? Y. You want to let it be y? Okay. Can I number? Only use one of y. A. You want it to let it be a? Is it? Okay. So let's say a is s square. Understand? Let's say a is s squared. Everybody okay? So I will have dA dx will be 4x cubed minus 2x. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes or no? So for this to be the maximum or minimum, this must be zero, right? So 4x cubed minus 2x must be zero. Okay? Now I take out 2x. I will have 2x square minus 1 equals to 0, right? I will have x equals to 0 or x squared equals to half. That means x will be plus minus x square root half, right? Can you see I have three values? Plus, can you see I have three values? What are the three values? x 0, x is root half, or x is negative root half. Agree plus? Agree plus? Talking to you. Yes? Okay, good. Now, so what will happen? Okay? What will happen? When x is 0, I plug in here, what is my y? y is 0, right? So I have the first point 0, 0. Did I make a mistake? Just a minute now. Did I make this correct? Okay, good. When up, uh, correct. When x zero, y is zero. Am I right to say that? Okay. How about when x is root half? What is my y? Can you see if it's root half? You square it, you become what? Half. Okay, good. So my second point is actually root half, half, right? Now, the question, the textbook give you 1 over root 2. It's the same, huh? Because when you take this one, the square root of 1 is 1. That's why it becomes like that. Understand? I'm not doing anything fantastic. Okay? How about when x is negative root half? Y will still be half, right? Because you square it. So, it will be... Agree plus? Yes or no? So these three points will be either furthest or nearest right, to zero one. Agree? I'm talking to you because they are stationary points. Stationary points or stationary value doesn't mean that it must be the minimum. Right? It can be the maximum. So what must we do? We must test right, whether it is it the maximum or the minimum. The B class, yes or no? Okay. So you look at the A, the X. Minus 2. This will be a 6 minus 2. This is a 4. This is bigger than 0, right? 
So this is a minimum value, agree? Correct. Okay. Last point to test. Last point to test. Will be half into now. You suck in negative half. Negative root half, sorry. You still get half minus two. This is still a four, which is bigger than zero. This is a minimum value. Can you see? Correct. Or not? Yes or no? Okay. So that means I have a point here, which is root half, half, and another point here. Negative root half half, whose distance away from zero one is the minimum. Can you see what I'm talking about here? Can you see what I'm talking about here? Okay. So the two points are. Can you see the last line just before forty point two? They gave you the two points. Can you see what I'm talking about here? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Now, because I'm I I am very particular, so what I did was that I went to do the root half. You know the square root. I didn't square it, but it's a very long thing. Ah, but you still get the same answer. But it's a very long thing. So I think the textbook is quite ingenious in squaring it. Then can you see the differentiation becomes much easier? Okay, now do you? You must first of all agree with the fact that square root of a small number when I square it is still small. Square root of a big number when I square it is still big. You must have that idea. If not, it cannot work. Everybody clear with what I'm talking about? Can I have the two boys waking up now? Okay, are we clear? Are we clear? Okay, good. So we have completed this already. All right. So if you look at page sixty-three, they will say that x is zero is a maximum, okay? One over root two is a minimum, and negative one over root two is a minimum. Therefore, we have a conclusion that are you all clear with the example? Okay. Now, of course, you have your file with me. I don't expect you to fill in the file. Okay. You fill in until fourteen point one, but you only fill in until thirteen point four. Your W A one and your level point four. Sorry, forty point one is still with me. I haven't finished one thing. Okay, it's quite difficult to write. Everybody clear? Okay. Now, so no need to worry. Take out a piece of full scan. We'll start our uh, our homework now. I will guide you. I will guide you up. Okay, 14.2, I want on the full scan, I write down all the questions first, will that be okay? 1C, two, three, four, five, nine, twelve, and 13. Why do I have all this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 12 and 13 is not easy. But it can come out. Because they like this type of questions. Do you understand? They give you some pictures. Then they ask you to do it. Okay? Okay? Now, can I start with the easiest one first? Now, if you cannot do the difficult one, don't try. Don't try, okay? Because I need you to try. You follow? Mm -hmm. This class lack the stamina. Do you understand? You must try until you can get it. You follow? Okay, let's look at question 1C first. Okay, all of you look at the question. 1C. Actually, I have a thing for you. If you cannot do the exercises right, go and look at my last year's video. I saw it for them already. But I'm not saying that you copy whole thing. You understand? Get some hints 
course and then you continue doing it. I think your class can follow that very well. Remember I gave you the connected rates of change and I told you to look at my video and then you do. You can do it, you know. You understand? You just need some hints here and there and that's all. Everybody clear with what I'm saying? Okay, all right, let's take a look at question one first. For each expression, calculate the positive value of x, for which y has a stationary value. Determine whether this value of y is maximum or minimum. Okay, can we write down the equation first?
I want to get rid of this. Can you see at the top, top and bottom by this? Okay, so I will get a. Find that value. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? Yes 
or no? Okay. Now, when you have this right, you have to put y in terms of x now. Agree class? Okay. From what? y is 10 minus 2x. Okay. Try now. Then you substitute into 2. So a will be x into 10 minus 2x, which will be 10x minus 2x squared. Everybody okay? Everybody okay? Can see? Can see? Okay, good. Memorizing how to spell the words. 
like protein, I also cannot start protein. Okay, do you know that when I went to university, the lesson before mine was a oral lesson. And when I look at the board, right, all the words are like French to me. I don't understand a single thing because of the way they spell it. That I thank God I didn't take. Okay? Then when I went to sec 4, sec 3, sec 4, I took pure physics, pure chem. I dropped bio straight away because I can't stand it. Though I qualify for the physical science, I can't be bothered. I can't stand bio. But the teacher came in, I told you right, I cannot stand chemistry. Because the only word that I can, I can remember from chemistry is precipitate. <laughs> precipitate this color, precipitate that color. So I don't know what the teacher is talking about. I don't even know what's mole theory. You know what's mole theory? I don't understand at all. No. I really cannot understand. I can't even balance a chemistry equation. No, I'm a maths teacher. Then my teacher scolded me. How come you go in maths? so stupid in your... She didn't use the word stupid. Like. But she said, how come I'm so yucky in my chemistry? I just can't help it. Like. How you know you blast this, blast this, got this thing come out? How you know one? Then you know got you know draw the nucleus, then got what? <laughs> you know what, what fly there, fly there? Like Electrons? Things, yeah. Yeah. How would you know? <laughs> how would you know there are molecules here? I can't see. <laughs> You get what I mean? The how do they make some covalent bond? I don't understand, you know. And how do you know that it will heat up? I don't understand. So, from then on, I refused to take chemistry. Okay, but I still passed. I got a B3, okay? I tried very hard because I tried to memorize what the teacher said. Okay? But when you do the JC, refuse to do chemistry. So I took Max C, further Max C. There are last time two Max, huh? Physics and Economics. I'd rather do economics. Okay, though I didn't score well. Because I'm not a humanities person. You see, you can see from my face that non-humanity, you know the kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so I can't be bothered because it's it's, it's still difficult. I, I think I'd rather do a new subject. Okay? So I did double max physics econs. Okay, nowadays there's no more double max unless you do further max uh H2, which is quite difficult. Please don't do it if you do not intend to be a professor. Do you understand? Don't do H2F maths if you don't intend to be a maths professor. Do you understand? Just do H2 normal normal maths can already. Alright, if cannot write, just go and do H1. Understand? Don't wow. Please don't. Okay, please don't wow. Alright? But because my, 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 my genes are in maths, so I have no choice. Okay, if I take those humanities straight away, I F9 straight away. Okay, now come, question number four. Hey, wait, question number four, number three. Biology. A biologist model the population and of bacteria in a given culture by the equation. Come here, right now. How come they give me a whole bio class without telling me? They didn't tell me. I don't know. Last year's 402 and 403 is Zapalang, that means half physics, half bio. If they give me a whole bio class, they must tell me. At least alert me. You understand? So I, I will talk biologically. <laughs> you understand? It's different, you know. Do you know that it's different? I need to know the profile. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Life goes on, come. The biologist says what? For x between 0 and 30, where x is the temperature of the culture in degrees Celsius. Everybody okay? Alright, yeah? At what temperature does the number of bacteria reach its peak? What do you mean by that? Ah, number of bacteria reach its maximum, right? That means I've got to differentiate this nonsense here, right? Correct now. How to differentiate this nonsense? M1. Yes, M prime X. If you cannot differentiate this straight away, you get out of the class. Okay, what is the answer? 3 X squared, then. That be good. Plus X, 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 then. Plus 500. Very good. Life goes on, right? Okay, now, never finish, ah. They say, at what temperature does the 
number of bacteria reach its peak. Okay. When I will have am I right? Hey, this is a gentleman, alright. Now I don't like this number, I times negative one. Then people will think, oh chill, I just use cross method law. Cannot be factorized. So if cannot be factorized, how cry? Use formula. Okay. X equals to minus B. That's why I said I have to show this. Because some people cannot write, oh die don't know how to. Can use formula, E max you got use formula, right? Okay. B square. Let me wait. 4AC over 2a okay so this is a 6 plus minus square root 6 0 3 6 over 6 okay the two values are 13.948 or negative 11.948 5 truncate first actually yeah 1 and 2 are actually connected okay i don't understand why they separate all right can you see they say at what temperature does the number of bacteria reach its peak, right? Okay. Now, this is the value for X. Correct. Okay. They tell you X is what? Between what? 0 and 30. So, this guy is what? Rejected. Correct. Right if not, it can be accepted, you know. Why? X represent what? Look at the question. X represent what? Temperature. Can temperature be negative? Yes. Who says temperature cannot be negative? Agree? Yeah? Okay. Now, then we are going to do M double prime. Differentiate this one, right? Okay. Differentiate, what is it? Negative 6X. Last six, right? Everybody okay? Yes or no? Okay. When x is 13.948, m double prime x is negative 6, 13.948 plus 6. Can you tell me whether this is a positive or a negative value? Very obvious. This is less than zero, right? Correct. Right Therefore, NX is maximum, right? Okay? Can you see? Okay, then I'm going to answer the question. Huh? Actually, I told you one and two. Actually, part two is redundant, okay? Let's look at part one. At what temperature does the number of bacteria reach its peak? We only found this is peak. Okay? So, temperature will be 13.9 degrees Celsius. Can see? 3, 6, 6 now. Okay? Okay, part 2 actually is from here already. Explain why this temperature gives the maximum number, maximum bacterial population. This is part 1. Huh? Part 2. Because why? Because n double prime x is less than 0. Huh? Actually, I find this redundant. If you need to show the picture, you must show this with one. The green one, okay. Yes or no, class? Okay, talking to you, right? Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yes or no? Okay, yeah. Now, why did I choose this question again? Because a lot of you after do do do, right? You forget can use formula. Okay? Once you forget can use formula, die already. You understand what I'm talking about? So I'm very particular uh, when I choose my question. Can you see all three got different types of things coming into it? Okay, next one. Question number four. Okay, question number four. Hey, I gave you eight, no? I did half already there. Can you see 50% discount? You understand? Four? Okay. Okay, number four. Can you draw the 
diagram for me first. Some people refuse to draw diagram on I don't know why not. This one now, when I gave to my previous year's classes, I nearly boxed them out of the class. Okay, because they tell me nonsense. Okay, and what's the nonsense? I'll tell you now. Better don't make me box you out of the class. In the diagram, a rectangular, rectangular enclosure, PQRS, of area A meter square is formed using a wall and 36 meters of fencing. Let the width and length of the enclosure be X meters and Y meters respectively. Show that Y is this. Now, they use 36 meters of fencing. Plus, I want to ask you, do we go and fence the wall now? <laughs> Please, hold huh, along, you okay? Fence where? You tell me fence where? Like this, like this, like this. Understand? Don't go and say, pa, like this also, then die already. You understand? Okay, so this is X. So how do I show the first one? It's very easy. The three legs act together must be what? Huh? Three legs act together must be what? I know two X plus Y must be what? I ask nicely, okay? The three legs act together must be what? 36, very good. So, how about 2x plus y must be 36, right? Because the fencing is 36, ma. Okay, so y is what? 36 minus 2x shown. What this one, huh? A gift from heaven, you know. Okay, now, plus, let me tell you, uh, even if cannot show, uh, must use, uh, understand? Don't say, I cannot show, so I gotta do already. Uh, set up. Okay, next part B. Part 2. Using the fact that area is x times y and the result in part 1, show that A is this. Now, all of you look up. A is x times y. You know why it's this one, right? So, plug in. Expand. 36 minus 2x squared. Shown. Wow, this is the best question on earth so far. Eh? Can you see it in our class? 403, can you appreciate this question? Please say you appreciate it. Yes, very good. Must appreciate, okay? Alright, now next. Find the value of x for which a is maximum. Everybody go and find the a, the x for me. If you don't know, also must fly out of the class. What should it be? 36 minus what? 4x. Very good. When the a, the x is 0, x is 9. Correct? Ah? Very straightforward. Ah? x is 9. Correct? Okay. The question say, find the value of x for which a is maximum. I already found x. Now is to prove that A is maximum. Correct? So, the 2A, the X squared, will be what? Negative 4. So, this is 0. So, A is maximum, right? Correct? Actually, this is a very straightforward one. Regardless of your value, it's still maximum. Because it's negative 4 minus, it's not dependent on x. Can you see? So you're right. x is 9, and a is x. Did they tell you to find the maximum value of a? No. But what if they ask you to find the maximum value of a? You plug in 9 here. Understand? And get the answer. Is that clear to all? Is that clear to all? Okay, good. I can start one last question for you, and that is question number five. Okay? Alright. Can you draw the Cartesian? Do not know that's called the Cartesian. Okay, I'll just give you one hint. 
the area of a tropism? How would you get the area of a tropism? How does what? How does base the height? Wow! Very good, no? Triangle is a tropism, no? How times height, right? Times what? A plus B, right? Sum of parallel sides. Agree? That means like that. Hello, hello. Better draw copy. Ninety. Ninety. Yeah. Let's say yeah. This is the height. Yeah. This is A. This is B. Understand? This is called area of trapezium. Clear? Okay. We try it number five. So how many questions do I have? I better write down. Find nine. Okay. Now, plus, I strongly encourage you to look at my video for the answer. Do you understand? I don't just show the answer, I show you how to get the answer. Understand? Or? Cannot, cannot. If by looking you still don't know, then you come and tell me. Tomorrow I'll do it in class. Will that be okay, class? This is in order to help you in your homework. And also, I don't waste so much time in class doing homework for you. Get it? Okay, stop the video to share.